Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absolique. Topic today is birth control, hair loss, and hair thinning. Now, I've talked about this and written about this uh, many, many times, but I have been requested to cover it again because it is so misunderstood. So, starting and stopping any medication, not just birth control, can trigger what we call diffuse over the entire head hair loss. So, it's the starting, the stopping, the change in the body that is triggering the hair loss. The hair loss will occur if indeed it is going to three months later. So always check your timeline. Three months later, you will get double the amount of hair loss falling. The trigger was three months earlier. You can't change it, but the hair loss will occur for three months. So you just need to wait it out or get some assistance to stabilize it. Now what's important here is the levels in the body of other elements. So if we've got poor health, or other deficiencies and things like that, or we get scared and we stop the medication or the birth control again, then you're gonna keep triggering different bouts of hair loss. And again, I see this all the time. So the best thing is to get some stability, some stabilization, get some professional help at this time. I can help you to identify the cause and to help you through it. Now, the other thing that happens is pattern thinning. So when we're talking about pattern thinning, we're talking about this area. So birth control indeed are synthetic hormones. So can they be associated with pattern thinning? Yes. But what generally happens is this is the diffuse shed from starting, stopping, and changing the birth control and medication that exposes the underlying pattern thinning rather than just the pattern thinning alone. So what most of you are doing is emailing me saying you're using things like minoxidil, Rogaine, Regain, addressing the pattern thinning, but you're not understanding the underlying cause was the starting, the stopping, and the changing, and that has affected your hair cell and your hair cycle. So be really careful to make sure you understand exactly what's going on. And then we need to help you to then go after hair growth. So we have to check that there's been no damage at a cellular level to correct all of this. It's very easy to treat and to understand once you're going to address all the symptoms and causes at the same time. So as always, feel free to email me at info at absolute.com.au with your story, any questions, any concerns, or if you'd like my help to help you through um, any hair loss or hair thinning concerns that you have. Thank you.